Hi, I'm Eric. I'm the creator of the Gas Sensor Grenade project in the 2015 Hackaday Prize. Pretty happy with this little project and I thought I'd do a final video here. I've done multiple videos up until now showcasing how to create the sensor, how to assemble the PCBs, assemble the code, and program the device. Really, really happy with this thing. It works, it works great and just needs a little bit further to go. But I gave myself a bit of a disservice by the, the title of the prize entry itself. A little background. This sensor is actually at home in many other industries other than emergency response. And an area that comes up most often, most commonly people end up killed in, is confined space. There are many different definitions for confined space. Most commonly, it is an enclosed or partially enclosed space. It is not designed or intended for continuous human occupancy and has limited entry and exit. As you may guess, this is a lot of areas that people work in every day. A bit of my own history, over many years I was responsible for over 18 guys working for me on any given day. Day. I was responsible for their safety as well as their rescue if something went bad. As a result of this, I have numerous certifications in a lot of different areas. These are just some of the accreditations I have. Confined space entry operations, safe work in confined space, trauma first aid, rescue at heights, you name it. In order to perform work safely and a rescue if needed, we use devices like this. This is a, an industry standard gas sensor, and this is why the project was born. As you can see, this item, uh, it's a rugged little item. You clip it on your chest, but you can't get it any closer than your body to the area unless you resort to hanging it from things. Uh, you also can't see the display, and it's hard to even hear it if the thing is far away from you. Hence, the gas sensor being born. Just throw this into an area and get the levels over a radio receiver. Just that simple. I thought I would share that little bit of history as to why I created this. It wasn't uh, uh, just someone sitting in the lab and came up with the idea. This was born from me living it out in the field and using one of these each day and being frustrated with the fact that if I had to do a rescue, I was using the same equipment that actually led to the rescue being needed in the first place. Totally not good in my opinion. So, better mousetrap? perhaps. You can check out all the build videos down below. I'll put a link to the entire playlist. Uh, it covers everything from start to finish, how other people can recreate this project. I truly hope it makes a difference in the world. I'm really happy with the results so far. Thank you judges. Thank you Hackaday for considering me in the prize this year. I truly appreciate it. I've had a blast and good luck to all the other entries. There's some amazing projects in this year's contest. Simply loving it. Cheers guys.